I was talking to uh, Tony Wang, uh, one of the authors on the adversarial Go paper. And they told me that like their um, human tester was some American dude. And when I asked like which American dude, it looked like my email from 2019, because the only American guy I know is, is Kellen Pellerin. <laughs> And uh, the story for, for Kellen is we met in 2012 at the World Mind Sport Games. Uh, mm -hmm. He was representing the US. I was representing Brazil. <laughs> and, um, and here we are in 2023, uh, hiking Go and, and winning against the AI. So yeah, Kellen is going to show us how he did the exploit. So we're going to be playing on a computer, uh, which will be recorded. And we're going to like play uh, against Kellen Go trying to win until people from the security kick us out from this room. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, happy to be here. Good to talk to you. Um, yeah, do you want to just like give a few words on like how the model works, um, how the approach works, and how do you end up like working on this paper as well? Yeah, so it was actually uh, through Reddit. Uh, so they had a, a Reddit thread for an earlier version of the paper, and uh, I had some thoughts on it and reached out to uh, Adam, one of the lead authors, and started some discussion and eventually joined the project. So as far as how it works, you may have heard when you were talking to Tony, I imagine, uh, but uh, our uh, adversary AI found a strategy uh, that uh, exploits Katago, uh, finds a, a big weakness in it, as well as other Go AIs. And uh, we found that it's clear enough to understand that humans can do it. So the, the basic idea is to make this uh, sort of circular shaped uh, group, uh, we call it a cyclic group. And it seems like Katago can't judge that correctly. Uh, for some reason, it seems to think that it's completely invincible. So it never defends it. And then, at least in theory, that allows the attacker to uh, uh, later surround it and capture it. So basically, the, the strategy is uh, induce it to set up that uh, cyclic group, uh, surround and capture it, and then win the game from there. This version is just the main version that we did our experiments on. Uh, the newer versions, they've been doing some adversarial training. Uh, so they, they've made it better. Uh, it's harder to exploit, uh, and I haven't practiced against the newer versions yet. Uh, but nonetheless, our, our adversary AI is still able to exploit them, especially after fine tuning. So it's still an open problem how to actually defend these. Cool. Yeah, I guess I guess we should uh, we should start uh, jailbreaking it then. <laughs> do you wanna do you wanna start? Sounds good. Yeah. Maybe I'll do the, the go commentary and the <laughs> from uh, amateur player. I'm playing black here. So we see that um, Kellen is playing the the three three moves, classic classic moves. Uh, after the AlphaGo era, no, I'm, I'm joking. The three-three move is um, is like when you invade. Is AlphaGo um, started doing this, but um, it, it was classic, more like it's more like an old-school move. Um, here is playing very ar aerial moves uh, in the center, I guess, for being circled. No, I don't know why you're doing this. So the what I'm trying to do is I'm going to make this sort of the the center of the the circle, uh, the center of the cyclic group. So I want white to make a, a loop around a, my stones here in the lower left. And then on the, the rest of the board, I'm playing close to the edge. Uh, so the, the idea is I want uh, Katago to really take control of the center and, mm. and think that it's really doing well and, and surrounding everything. Right. So, you, so you're taking the corner to the center so to, to like start like... Yeah, exactly. So it's eventually going to try and surround the, it entirely, but for now, just the, the center and corner part. And to be clear, like the version you're playing against is as strong as the alpha of a zero that like beat uh, Lucidol or? So th this particular version, because we don't have uh, too high visits, so it doesn't take too long. Right. Uh, it's probably a, a maybe top human level, uh, but not as strong as uh, alpha zero. Right, right. Uh, but I've played other versions in the past, I've beaten other versions in the past uh, that are uh, as strong or probably sh stronger than alpha zero. Yeah, I guess uh, the number of visits is just a parameter in the in the engine where we're playing with. That because my my, my mag doesn't have like infinite power, and we want to like play all the moves in like less than half an hour. We decided to like divide it by five. It's usually like five hundred visits. We we put it to like a hundred visits. Yeah, exactly. Is it like visit for uh, MCTS or? Yeah, it is. So it's roughly how many moves it's looking at uh, each time it makes a move. Yeah, MCTS Monte Carlo tree search is. I don't know if the visit is like number of time. Number of nodes it looks in the tree or something. But. Yeah, roughly. So it, it can it depends it can get a little bit off from that uh, because uh, it depends on how it counts the uh, ones that searched previously. Mm. So the the visits it it's counting it even if it uh, revisits it uh, mm. basically if I remember correctly. But basically, it's how many moves it looks at. So you 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 have your like kind of alive thing in the middle. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's right. So I, I actually let it I sort of make an incursion here a bit. Uh, so I need to need to repair my shape a bit. But uh, to be like a um, to be like a dead thing in the middle, or oh wait, you you don't want it to to like be dead. You want to be alive. Uh, so either way can work really. Right. Uh, so it, it seems like it doesn't necessarily matter that much. It, it needs to have a, enough space that it doesn't just get captured immediately because right. towards the very end, uh, the Catago can definitely catch on when it gets down to like just a couple liberties yeah. left. It, so it, need it, it seems like that. it seems like his, his circle is be, be kind of impossible to catch now. Yeah, so I need to give it some time to uh, complete the circle. But yeah, at least right now it should be. Uh, uh, if Catago were judging things correctly, there'd certainly be no way I could capture anything here. And then maybe to answer one of the common questions we get, so you're asking about the how does the string compare to like alpha go or alpha zero uh, earlier. Uh, so alpha alpha zero was trained with a, a lot more GPUs, you know, the Google sort of resources uh, at the time, but it was only trained for a short amount of time, right? Because they just wanted to, to win that match, and then they sort of set the project aside, as far as we know. Uh, whereas this one was trained uh, with a uh, uh, over a much longer period of time. Uh, so in, in the end, uh, because it's trained a, a lot longer, as well as some uh, uh, improvements in the architecture uh, in the training process, uh, it's ultimately, if it had a lot of visits, uh, stronger than uh, Alpha Zero. So you, you're doing things that are like, not, oh, you're waiting for, for, for him to play some stuff? Yeah, I'm basically trying to wait for it to surround my, my group here. Uh, so because it's to like kill it yeah exactly or or at least uh take control of the, the area around it so because i uh, uh it's almost alive here uh it's not too eager to attack uh so that's making it a bit slow mm. so i guess you're playing like new moves to make it like surrounded perfectly yeah basically just trying to wait uh <laughs> you're still playing <laughs> playing your yeah he seems oh uh, so he's really going going for the kill now yeah, maybe it thinks it can. I uh, uh, can't kill uh, smoothly. So right now, I'm basically trying to start start surrounding the from the outside uh, in the area that it already controls, so it doesn't really do play a lot of defensive moves, and and waiting for it to finish uh, surrounding my so the what, inside group what, in the lower what, right. What do you need it to like finish circling before you can circle it? Uh, well, so the issue is if I if I don't really wait for it to finish the circle, then it will probably try to cut me off and. Uh, defend itself or something. Exactly, yeah. So it's hard to control how it's going how to defend going if to, it to, doesn't finish to, it. To, to deal with the like, eyes here, I think there's like none, there's maybe like half an eye or something because you can always like invade it. But Yeah, good question. So I mean, if it's just one eye, then that's no problem. Uh, but it, if it has enough for two, then the hope is going to be that it doesn't really protect the eye because it, mm. it thinks it's not in danger. So for, for people who, who don't know how to play Go, the, the eye is like this like circular shape around like a... Um, uh, intersection and so whenever you have this like circular thing around intersection it's illegal to play inside so you uh, the only way you can play inside is something like what we call i is if you surround the thing outside and you play and so if you have only one eye the guy can like circle everything around and play the one move at the end to 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 to, to kill everything and so basically the goal and go is to um have two eyes so this way you cannot play two moves at the same time it's illegal so if you have two eyes, uh, you're basically alive like a human. Um, so that, that's our goal is to... Um, so, so, so now you have like a shape that is alive and... Um, oh. <laughs> you're having problems in other, another group. Yeah, so definitely uh, if it really uh, realizes that there's some sort of issue for it, uh, it's going to capture me first uh, right now. So you, so you need to make sure to like prove that you're like not... Not not too too dangerous. Yeah. So hopefully it won't think that there's really any problem, uh, and then it it won't uh, play as aggressively as it could be, and or or won't try to defend as strongly as it could. It's 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 it's, it's a real like attack. It's like you try to pretend that, huh? Yeah. Okay. So now he has like one eye, and so now you can like subtly play a bunch of moves. <laughs> Not going for the cuts? No, because I, I wanted to connect. So if I actually cut it there, then because it wouldn't have this complete circle, uh, usually then it would judge it correctly. Oh, okay, so you wanted to have the, the, the <laughs> give it some time to actually connect. <laughs> exactly, yeah. So they're, they're, even though that move isn't actually doing anything, because yeah. White's already connected on the other side, 
because it, it doesn't judge it correctly, for some reason it seems to think that like, oh, if I complete the circle, that that makes me really safe. So <laughs> it, it plays this this move here that's like a complete I think there's waste. also like a pattern of um, for Go AIs, they they're incentivized to look around the the, the the last move played. Like they have something in their um, in their model where they like put more weights in like next to the move I already played. I'm not sure if Kadigo has that or not. So you 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 could think that like. They only look at the at the board with like a fresh state, but I think when they train the model, they 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 give the like five last moves as an input or something. That's true. Yeah. I so that. I guess like the it, it, it like knows that the last move was closer mm -hmm. here. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you defending? <laughs> yeah, good point. Yeah, I, I don't really need to defend here. I I, I mean I don't want to die here yeah. uh, because then I, I might capture a white scoop but lose the game anyways. Oh yeah, yeah. So you want uh, to you you want to really win? Yeah. Yeah. And I'll even so one of the things you can do is uh, because it thinks I'm going to be dead here, uh, it'll often let me uh, so walk, like, like, walk oh, through its territory. He, he thinks he's doing like end game, right? Exactly. Yeah. So it doesn't really care that I'm uh, destroying its territory up in the the, the center here. Uh, yeah. It, yeah. Just just, just, good. just keep moving. Keep keep invading. I just want to like bully a little bit. Sure. Let's see. Wait. Can you like? I know you cannot do anything. There's no t um, weird moves in play. Yeah, I guess it's answering a, a fair amount uh, in this case, but oh yeah, like they are. So instead of actually like blocking me off, uh, yeah, he's like preventing like really connected. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So now I can really walk in here. Uh. I guess yeah. I guess it was like like a, a while to really like walk everywhere, but just like just grab a few points. Yeah, <laughs> I think uh, this should be plenty. So I'll see if I. Oops, that's not really where I meant to play with that. Oh, um, careful not not to die there at all. Uh, I think I'm good. So I'll see if I can. Uh, Finish this off pretty soon. So, so, so now you're you're basically one, right? Because you're alive, and the thing has only one eye, right? Yeah, I think so. So, so yeah, I, as yeah. long as it doesn't capture me first somewhere, and it looks like a, uh, that shouldn't be a problem. So he, he completely misjudged the situation like a, a long time ago. Right? It's crazy to just like see the exploit in um in person. Like I I would see the games, but now I'm like now I'm convinced. Ooh, <laughs> he's trying to grab. <laughs> Oops. I double clicked there by mistake. Gotta go as resign. <laughs> American uh, American uh, player beats, <laughs> beats Gotta go. Take that Gotta go. No, uh, to be fair, it's, a, it's an old version. Uh, like what, one year ago, mm -hmm. they they patched it. Um, so probably now it's fixed. But uh, yeah, I guess like when 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 fun story is that they uh, people from like professionals. Uh, Started using this as well, and or it was like amateurs, and they would like beat the top like uh, AIs in some like yeah in some like different platforms, and they had to remove their AIs for like two months to fix the patch. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so you kind of launch, launch a revolution as well. And mm -hmm. um, do you, do you think people will like keep finding on like new exploits like this or? Well, so I, I would say that th this one actually isn't patched yet. Mm -hmm. uh, so personally, I, I'm not a uh, I haven't studied up against the newest version. Uh, so that's why I wanted to play the, the older one that I'm familiar with. But uh, our AI still beats the newest version. Uh, so And with the same uh, basically general strategy of making this circular group. Uh, so it, the vulnerability is maybe, maybe less in some ways, uh, hard to say, but uh, uh, it, it does fix some of the, the old uh, attack uh, somewhat, but uh, it's still the same overall strategy. Uh, so it's not really fixed, uh, and I would guess that uh, if I actually uh, uh, studied the the slight changes, uh, then <laughs> I'd be able to beat it again. So I, I think uh, uh, even this one is surprisingly hard to uh, uh, fix. Yeah. Uh, if we were able to fix this, uh, uh, hopefully uh, someday I'd uh, either get enough adversarial training uh, or find a, a better fix, uh, then it's quite possible that there would be other exploits. But uh, we'll see in the end. And the main lesson here is that even with like something as simple as Go, oh, simple <laughs> as like perfect perfect knowledge as Go, um, um, and something we we thought was solved, um, it's still possible to like exp like find attacks. And mm -hmm. um, so that's for something that's like seemed quite robust, or at least like uh, difficult to like hack or something. So for for like other things like language models or uh, other AIs that are like proven to be like less robust for the attacks uh, is going to be quite difficult. I think is this like, an, um, I don't know, like an insight from the paper is like, it's actually AI systems are like less reliable than, than, than we thought. Um, yeah, I would say that uh, just being really superhuman, having an AI system that's really superhuman 
Uh, and even if it does lots of search and like simulating possible alternatives, like here in Go, we simulate lots of possible moves. That's not enough for robustness. Uh, so optimistically, one might have thought that if you just make your system good enough, uh, or if you look at lots of options and look for pitfalls, uh, then that would be enough. But our results show that that's definitely not the case. So we need to do lots of testing, uh, be really careful about how we deploy uh, systems, because uh, they could have vulnerabilities we don't realize. Uh, and hopefully in the future, find uh, better ways to get not only good performance in the average case, uh, so like normally it beats uh, humans at Go, but also make sure it's going to perform well in the worst case. So even if there's uh, some sort of a special strategy like this, uh, it would still do well instead of failing catastrophically like we see here. Are you, I know you're not, maybe not the more like AI safety field from the, the paper, but are you, are you worried about like exit risk from AI? Because um, I know we were playing in 2013 and 2012, People were like making fun about, you know, AI being Go players. I remember like when I went to Japan, people were like making fun of um, one Go player, like Takemiya being beaten with like four handicaps. So the the, the AI, the Go AI had like four stones, four, four moves uh, ahead. And it was like beating a professional. People were like, oh, the professional is bad now. He's like, he's kind of getting old or something. And like two years later, we, we had the like, professional be, be, being beaten. Mm -hmm. yeah, so yeah, did, did, did you like update you to a lot for like AI progress um, or did you get like worried about things maybe going fast too fast for its control, or are you most like optimistic about the future? I guess uh, I'm not sure about the future. I think it can go either way. I, I think uh, there's definitely lots of risk, but I think it also has potential for great progress. So I, I'm hopeful that, for example, if we look at like uh, misinformation, which is another area that I work in, uh, there's definitely potential for AI to generate lots of misinformation and cause all sorts of problems for us that way. Uh, but I think there's also the potential that it can help us better evaluate information and help us all um, make better judgments on uh, uh, what's true, uh, what's good information, good quality information, and how what's you, not. How do you judge if information is good with AI? Did you just like check the source for you? Or? Uh, some of that, but uh, it can also use its sort of a, you know, vast training knowledge and ability to really quickly go through a, a lot of material. Uh, so you can imagine an AI system that can uh, search trustworthy sources for you and, and look for the answer to some question uh, or something like that, uh, or some, some piece of information that you encounter and, and help evaluate it. And, and also, it can, uh, the, the recent systems like uh, ChatGPT and so forth are obviously tend to naturally lend themselves towards explaining uh, stuff, right? So the, the hope anyways is that uh, you can get a, uh, it can help you evaluate information uh, and give answers that are, even if they aren't perfect, uh, they still give you valuable information, right? So if it explains why it's giving an answer, then if it's not, not quite the right, it, you know, maybe it's the, the right answer directly, so that's great. Uh, but even if it's not quite the right answer, if you have a good explanation, then you can see, oh, it's missing this part. Uh, so that helps me make more more informed decision anyways, or you know, like it informed me about this part, even if there's this other part that I still need to learn about. Uh, so overall, I'll get a good result, even if it isn't getting a perfect results. And, and hopefully, um, if, we, if we use this AI to retrieve some information, uh, if we look at uh, did Keller and, and, and Michael be the best uh, superhuman had <laughs> going on July 28th, it will be able to say that like, Yes, technically, but <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. That was great. Um, thank you. Yeah, have a good one. Yeah, you too.